So, NFL Week 4. And I'm going to start with the two games tonight. Green Bay beat Atlanta. There ain't no comeback tonight. Aaron Rodgers looked poised. He put on a clinic. You know, Atlanta is just helpless. Matt Ryan, he had his one chance at Super Bowl, and he's just always come up short. It's just going to be a long season. They Are they really a 0-4 team? I don't know if they are 0-4. I don't think Ty Gurley signed up for this. It's kind of interesting. The Rams are actually better without Ty Gurley. Who knew? And the Falcons, they're one of the most disappointing teams, and they just bad luck. Green Bay, the jury's still out of how good they really are. And Aaron is definitely feeling time catching up with him. But when he's on point, and he was on point tonight, He's still one of the best to ever do it. Kansas City, New England. As of course you know about Rona took over and Cam Newton missed the game. Patrick Mahomes had 10 incompletions in 1929. But he, he played a regular good old game. Like his ordinary games is better than most. They still did what they wanted to do. But them Patriots, man. Uh, Brian Hoyer and the, and the quarterback. Oh, boy. Good. They better hope Cam comes back because them two busters suck. Let me tell you something. That's what life would have been without Cam Newton in New England. They would have had. They would have been gone from a team that was a contender to to wearing bags over the head. Their defense ain't that good, and and you can't you can't what they got for quarterback. What if Cam don't get back, they in trouble. But all right. Next up, my Buffalo Bills first place, two games up, beat the Raiders. David Carr still frustrating. You know, we played a really good game. Defense looked good. Josh Allen has definitely improved. It was a very impressive win for them. That sorry sack of a game, I think it was, uh, God, what was that game that was on Thursday night? I got to, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to it because I, I got to put my head on that one. It'll come back to me. I got to jog my memory back that far. But let me go to some other games. Um. Cleveland smashed Dallas. That's hilarious. Odell Beckham went off. And that was crazy. I mean, they did all kinds of run, pass, punt, kick. Dallas is horrible. They suck. And at home, they really stink. I mean, them busters then gave up about um, averaging them, giving up, let's see, 49 this time, 39 to Atlanta in the game they should have lost. Shoot, them busters is giving up about um, 80 points at the crib. Averaging like a 40, a 40 burger. And that division is garbage. Giants got their butt beat by the Rams and no one cared game. Um, and Washington lost. Well, you knew that was going to happen. I mean, Washington, you know, it's going to be a long season. Philadelphia beat Frisco. Somebody got to win out the NFC at least. That's a horrible division. It is a joke. <clears throat> Uh, New Orleans beat Detroit, and that was funny. Spot them early spot. I'm going to get back to that to the L.A. New York Giants game. It was a fight between Patrick Rams and Golden Tate, and that was the only punches thrown by the Giants because they ain't connecting on the field. Uh, New Orleans beat Detroit. I can't really gauge what New Orleans is. Detroit is Detroit. They should have never got rid of a uh, staff of uh, of uh, their coach. And Matt Patricia needs to go back to New England. He just can't. He not a head coach. He not a head coach. Um, Minnesota beat Houston, but that ain't nothing to be expressed about. Houston sucks, and this is what they get for letting DeAndre Hopkins go. Minnesota ain't that much better. Seattle beat Miami. Russell Wilson is in at our MVP argument, and he might get it if Patrick Mahomes doesn't go too hot. I think Russell's balling. He's the he's the thing that's carrying Seattle. Their defense is yeah. Tampa Bay beat the Chargers, came from behind. Tom Brady threw up five touchdowns. Had a pick six early, but <clears throat> the Chargers just don't have the depth on the secondary, and they couldn't hold nothing. Brady looking poised. He's got the most weapons he's ever had on offense. I'm going to tell it. I know he broke the record of Randy Moss back in the day, but ooh, if he'd have had this kind of squad. <laughs> and Leonard Fournette's coming back. Ugh, they, they look like a handful. They look like a handful. Just trying to jog the memory, think about all the games off the top of my dome because I'm going to, you know, try to recollect. Arizona lost to Carolina. I like Kyler Murray, but they're just not quite ready yet. And Carolina, Teddy Bridgewater is doing okay, but I think he had a better fit with New Orleans. I'm just saying, I'm watching some of these games. Yeah. 
Pittsburgh, Tennessee, as you know, got postponed because of Corona. So it's going to be made up soon. <clears throat> Thoughts and prayers are with the players in that. The, the uh, Colts beat the Bears. Um, Colts got a nice little story going. The Philip Rivers don't mess it up. They got, they got a nice little hard nose play and way they're going. Bears gone through some growing pains. A quarterback, a little disarray. Oh, yeah, the game that I forgot was Denver beat the Jets. And you know why I forget that. Because that's like two sorry scrub teams. Somebody had to win. And Denver got some pieces. It was Melvin Gordon's their running guy. But that quarterback, oh, God. Somebody had to win it. <clears throat> um, Baltimore would be watching. I mentioned. And the Ravens are still looking pretty good. Um, think about that. Basically covered. Now, basically, the takeaways is that. Teams are haves and have nots. You can see the differences. I'm looking forward when Frisco gets everybody back. But pretty much you're seeing some teams separate themselves looking pretty good. Right now in the AOC, my Buffalo Bills look like they're top. They're right behind Kansas City. Kansas City's still the top dog. But we're right. We're knocking on that door. Got to see how Pittsburgh, Tennessee is. I ain't really sold on Pittsburgh. Tennessee's feisty. We'll see. We play them next. So that should be a compelling game. Um, <clears throat> I don't know more about New England in the coming weeks. Can't really tell until Cam comes back, but they look suspect, though. They look average. NFC, Seattle, Tampa Bay, Green Bay look like, you know, we'll see what happens with New Orleans. I'm not going to acknowledge none of them dogs in the NFC East. That's horrible. So what you're seeing so far is, you know, certain teams are coming to view, some teams are out of view, and some teams... It's going to be a long, long season. But that's my thoughts and takes for week four in the NFL. Give me your thoughts and takes. Hit the like, subscribe, and the bell rings, new video. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for another. And this has definitely been a challenging season, but you're seeing some things in view. I'm out.